Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you how to add an animated GIF to your Outlook signature. I'm going to show you two methods, so let's get in. The first thing you want to do is, of course, open a new mail. And as you can see over here, I have an animated GIF in my signature, right? But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. So first of all, if you're going over to the top of your ribbon, you're going to tap on Insert, and here you can tap on Signature. Now, once you tap on signatures at the bottom, you can create a new signature. This will open up a new window where you can create a new signature. So on the right hand side, you're going to tap on new. You're going to give it a name. Uh, so let's go signature GIF. And we're going to name it number two. And we're going to say OK. Now, what you're going to do here is you are going to... Um, type in whatever you want your signature to be. So let's go, Sam, I am, is out. Give us some exclamations. And then you want to just hit enter. You want to jump to the next line. Now, what you can do is hold in the Windows key on your keyboard and hit the period key right this will bring up this menu now once you on this menu you're going to go over to gif and you are going to choose a gif from here now what i did was i just chose a random gif and just for example let's use this one you're going to use that one and it's going to pop in here you're going to then tap on ok now every time you open a new mail you can go up to signature and you can use whichever signature you would like that you've preset now this is the one that we've just made what you can do then is you can resize it okay and then in that previous window where we added it we can resize it there as well but let's say we don't want this in here every single time so let's go to our signatures again and let's go to this signature that we've created let's go to signatures and let's say we want to take this one and we want to remove that okay now this is what the signature will look like so every time you add this signature it'll only have the text that you've put in there now, again, you can use that Windows key and the period button, and you can go ahead and you can add that GIF in individually. You can use different GIFs per signature, and you can customize it to your liking. There we go. I've shown you how to preset your um, signature using a GIF, and also I've shown you how to enter customized GIFs when creating your signature. If this video was helpful, drop us a like. We'll see you next time. Cheers.